Merry Christmas from ToyTractorTimes.com The stockings have all been hung by the fire with care and Santa Claus has just arrived with all sorts of new farm toys. We'd like to hear in the comment section below about the farm toys that Santa Claus left under your Christmas tree this year. I wanted to take an opportunity to share some of the models that I've added to my collection this year starting with this 132nd Ford TW30 from Universal Hobbies. It's a very high detail model and it really stood out at my local New Holland dealer Ward Implement and I knew I wanted to add this great classic from the 80's to my collection. Another exciting model released this year is the 164th G1000 Vista from Speccast and ToyTractorTimes.com. This kicks off the new Toy Tractor Times 164 series of anniversary tractors. Here we can see the randomly inserted chase unit which was front wheel assist in duels and you can see the high detail up in the operators platform here in the packaging and then of course there was the standard two wheel drive model with duels. ToyTractorTimes.com is planning on announcing its next 164th anniversary tractor at the 2017 Lafayette Farm Toy Show in Indianapolis, Indiana which will be held on the second weekend of March 2017. I've always been a big Steiger fan and I picked up this 132nd 620 HD Steiger and this Case International 9190 Steiger from Ertl at my local Case IH dealer H&R AgriPower and I'm really looking forward to seeing the new 60th anniversary Farm Show Edition 620 HD Steigers. Um, they'll be introduced um, in 132nd and 64th for the farm shows um, starting with the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky in the second weekend of February. Another anniversary Steiger that just hit the market is this 164th Authentics Quad Track from Ertl. This marks 20 years of Quad Track technology from Case IH with the original Quad Track, and this has become a very popular item in the month of December. Another four wheel drive celebrating the anniversary this year was the Versatile 550. It helped mark 50 years of versatile four wheel drives by bringing back the classic versatile yellow, red, and black. And this proved to be so popular on the real anniversary tractors that Versatile is changing its colors in 2017 back to the original style. So we should be seeing a range of replicas um, from Ertl um, showing this new color scheme for 2017. Another four-wheel drive that I picked up this year is the 164th Alice Chalmers 7580. Ertl released a line of Alice Chalmers tractors in 116th, 132nd, 164th and it was great to see some of the orange models back um, at, at local Agco dealers this year. I've always been a self-propelled chopper fan and I picked up this 164th FR850 New Holland. It's nice because it comes with a hay head and a camper head and it's just a great forge harvester. A neat anniversary item that I spotted at Kelly's Garage in uh, Perry, New York was this 50th anniversary Pottinger Jumbo and this machine harvests hay and alfalfa um, much like a forge harvester chopping it up and then it's deposited in this trailer and I just thought it was a neat harvesting item for my collection as well as being a 50th anniversary. Another anniversary item that I've added is this 40th anniversary New Holland CR 8.90 twin rotor combine. It's painted up like the classic TR70 from 1975, the first rotary combine on the market. I really like this model because it has a folding 12 row corn head it has tracks and then the double folding auger in the back and it's just really cool to see it painted up in the classic New Holland TR colors and it's definitely become a very collectible item in the past year. ertl has gotten collectors excited in the past month with the release of some new hauling sets uh, from Case IH, New Holland and John Deere and what's exciting about these new sets is that it comes with a low boy trailer for hauling some big four wheel drives. We've got a Steiger 500 HD for the Case IH set and that is the only way that you can pick up that particular 
model number in the Steiger series. And then for New Holland, again, we've got a standout model with the T9 645 Smart Tracks tractor. And again, the only way you can pick up this New Holland four wheel drive is with the hauling set. Up here, we've got the John Deere 9570RX, and it's um, on that Low Boy Trailer 2, which is a new release from Ertl. Another exciting John Deere that recently came out is the 400 horsepower John Deere 8400R. This big tractor features front wheel assist with duals up front and rear triples, and it's a very nice replica from Ertl. Another exciting John Deere piece recently released is the John Deere 2730 Ripper. And um, I was very excited about getting this one and actually open it up from the packaging. And I really like um, how it folds up. You can see here the crumblers in the back fold up for transport as well as the disc blades in the front. And I certainly hope that Ertl will continue to offer some big implements like this John Deere 2730. Now, there's not a lot of John Deere products on display here in um, the items I'm talking about, but don't worry if you're a John Deere fan because there's a bunch of them uh, wrapped up here in the presents uh, for my son who is six years old. Um, they were brought by Santa Claus, and it'll be, I think he'll be very excited to see a big John Deere S670 Big Farm Combine, as well as a Frontier Grain Cart, and a semi truck, and a John Deere tractor all wrapped up in the presents here under the tree. Um, another piece that I really like that Speccast did this year was this Unverfurth Seed Pro bulk box tender and it's got the um, boxes right up there and it was just a nice piece um, for collections and for farm displays. Then of course uh, we've got the 1 16th Toy Tractor Times Anniversary Tractor and that's the Minneapolis Moline G940 from Speccast. You can see it's got the 2016 anniversary series imprint from the Toy Tractor Times on it. And then of course we had the Chase unit, which was the Cockshut 1855. And it also has the ToyTractorTimes.com 2016 anniversary imprint. There were only 300 of these Cockshut 1855s produced. So if you see one, you might want to grab it up because they'll probably be pretty hard to find. Now, the G940 marks the end of our 116th line from ToyTractorTimes.com. We've been offering 116th models since 1986, and we really enjoy offering the big tractors, but the price and the scale and just, you know, finding new models to make in 116th is getting a little tougher, so we're kind of shifting gears, and um, starting in 2017, we'll be focusing strictly on anniversary tractors in 164th, but we definitely have one I think that people will really like and that will be produced by Speccast. So stay tuned on that. Again, we look forward to hearing your comments below about what you've added to your collection this year or what Santa Claus left under the Christmas tree for you. And ToyTractorTimes.com would like to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year. And we look forward to bringing you all sorts of farm toy news and excitement in 2017. So we appreciate you watching our YouTube channel and following us on Facebook as well as our website, ToyTractorTimes.com. And again, thank you for watching and Merry Christmas.